All right, let's bring in three-time Super Bowl champion Matt Chatham. Now the Patriots were streaking, my dude, entering this game. Not the good kind. Three straight losses, but uh, playing the Jets can help you stop being sad and start being awesome in no time. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Who knows how much longer this marriage between Cam Newton and New England will last. But what'd you think? Opening drive ending with the touchdown pass to James White. I like the back usage. I'm always going to be excited about that. Thought we were going to see a lot more of that this season. At least in week 17, they figured out a lot of James usage, a lot of Sony usage. All right, we're tied at seven at the half. How nervous are we, though? Jets march downfield, take the lead. A little bit, a little nervous, especially since yeah, yeah, we, we're going to see here in just a little bit. The only next real temptation for the Pats offense comes near the end of the third quarter. So starting to get a little nervous there. All right, Jacoby Myers, a quarterback one. Second time he's done this this season. Break this down. Cam Newton on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. Well, we've seen him do some similar stuff this year. I cannot believe the Jets fell for this, but uh, there's a read option element here, the little flip to Jacoby, and Cam sneaks out the back end. How in the world the safety <laughs> wasn't warned in team means 50 times not to let this happen, but they did. All right, so tied at 14. Patriots have momentum. They keep it. J.C. Jackson, ninth interception of the season. How would you describe his campaign? He's got great ball skills, and he has great disruption skills. And on that play, really nice pass for us there to, to force a bad throw. And here we go. First time this season we have a Patriots tight end receiving a touchdown. Can you believe Pretty sure it? I'm uh, pretty sure the middle of the field safety there is not responsible for a tight end that got cut free. <laughs> Busted play there, but Asi Asi flopped on the ball to make sure that it wasn't called a fumble. Kind of a funny play for him, but good to get off the schneid. He had his first catch a little early in the game. There he gets a touchdown. Yeah, first career touchdown for Devin Asi Asi. And then what would you make of Sony Michelle today? It's the third and uh, final touchdown pass by Cam Newton. He made several plays out of the backfield, which I think surprises some people because they thought he was a run-only back, but showed great explosiveness, showed great ability to break tackles. Got a really nice little back tandem here at this uh, old Foxborough group. Actually, I'd call it three, not just two. All right, 28-14, Patriots win, stay in glass, half full following the end to a disappointing season. Just start by saying how proud I was of our, our team today, uh, not only today, but all year. Um, and certainly this week you know we had a disappointing couple of weeks here but these guys came back and really bounced back had a good week of practice had a good week of focus and um you know, played played competitively today it was good to you know and end a disappointing season on a positive note but that still isn't that's certainly not where we wanted to be here at the end of the year uh, but Today was today, and all we could do is control today. And so, uh, again, I appreciate you know all the players and and uh, you know the way the team performed. Yeah, we played this game to win, but you know our season is done. You know we got the talent in that locker room to be still you know playing for a playoff berth and and, and making a deep run in the playoffs. So you know that's the realization of things of, of you know. You, you know what we can possibly do. You know we can. You know we're, you know what we're capable of, but you know we just didn't show it enough this year. And um, you know, but yet through it all, you know we we did finish strong today. A small but yet important thing for me was just to finish healthy. And I think that was one of the most frustrating things for me was that I was healthy, but still not getting the results that I was yearning for. But you know, through it all, you know, my shoulder held up, foot held up, mental held up. You know, I had nicks and bruises, but who doesn't have any nicks and bruises in the NFL? Uh, but nothing lingering enough to to, to stop me. So, um, you know, I'm going to take that as a blessing and, and uh, just build on it in the offseason. There were highs, there were lows. Here's where Cam Newton finishes among every other quarterback in the league. Only major stats, he will finish in the top half of the NFL or interceptions 13th and rushing touchdowns for signal callers as the top dog there. Uh, Matty, I, I saw you tweeting about it, but what was your takeaway from New England's approach with Cam during this season-ending victory? Uh, I was, I've already put it out there several times, I was definitely team give Jared a look kind of thing. Not as a slight 
to Cam necessarily, and not even sort of an endorsement that you need to know what Jared has maybe in the future. It's none of that. It was just I felt like we'd reached that hour. You know, it was that time. It, why not, right? Why not know? They're going to go to the offseason not having seen that. So that may tell me well, it tells me and it tells, I think, a lot of the people outside looking in that maybe they've already made up their mind that that's not a starting caliber quarterback guy. Doesn't mean he might not still have a role in the team. Doesn't mean they don't think of him as a fine young player who could potentially be a long-term backup or something like that. But it appears, uh, you know, with all these other young guys across the roster getting opportunities to not give that particular one a similar chance was a little odd to me. So I, I think much like my tweet there is that, you know what, there was some, but there was something else here weighing into it. And part of it was just respecting Cam because He's failed, uh, you know, throughout the year, uh, and I, you know, his own expectations, not just ours. But he's done it incredibly well as far as professionally, and he's been candid, and he's owned up to it when it's been bad. And I think in part because he had such a sort of core uh, relationship with the rest of the locker room to let him ride it out into the sunset. And 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 as his, his quote sort of mentioned, show that he's healthy. You know, he didn't play at a high level. But I thought coming through clean, knowing that he's now going to go into free agency and have to convince someone to, to sign on, maybe you can convince someone that it was just, you know, oddball circumstances here and he can do better there. But he was healthy. All right, uh, real quick, besides Cam, who else impressed you against the Jets? Uh, I am very impressed right now with uh, the Sony Michelle thing, I think in part because most of the conversation has been about how great Damian Harris has been this year, and it's fair. It's warranted. I think people will forget how good James White is because he was his utilization wasn't great. You know, just those quarterback, those balls weren't the kind of quarterback really leaned upon. So uh, we now, I think, are reminded that uh, they've got one of the better three sort of back situations with James White, Damian Harris, and Sony Michelle. I mean, it's it's comparable to what's going on in Cleveland with 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 Chubb and Hunt there. So they've got they've got a nice future and they've got them under contract. They do have to work on the James thing, but I, I think that was a real positive side to come out of today. They're uh, they're all very good.